Nikita Watson wants justice for her 72-year-old father, Roy Ellis, who she claims has been defrauded out of his pension. Watson says the former female companion of a man who won't share the rented home in St. Thomas with her father had his pension checks rerouted to Silver Hill Christ Church. She said she heard the woman had passed away, but someone was still cashing the checks. You know that he was a victim of fraud, and then he was left in this, this situation where he doesn't have proper housing. When it rains, it pours in here, and some days when they come here to visit here, and he'll be so wet, it'll be heartbroken, and they will ask him if he's all right, and he will say yes. How can you be all right if the house is full of water and whatever else that's come through the roof and the doors and whatever else? I just want to say that to, in, back in 2018, a lady was able to obtain my father's information and go to the NAS and have his pension be rerouted. He was without money for two, four years. He had a friend that used to provide him with some meals on occasionally, and that as well kept him. And when I found out that he wasn't getting his pension, then I kept him to the NAS and was able to get by his pension for him. There's some bills that is here dated for last year that wasn't paid because he didn't have no money last year. The light is disconnected, the water somewhat. The house is not in a stable condition. The roof is basically bending now, so it can give at any time. I reached out to the elderly empowerment and she gave me a promising resolution. So hopefully that will come true. Also, I reached out to the welfare that somewhat rural. There was no assistance there at all. And we have a pending case with the fraud investigation pertaining to the third party now that was cashing my father's pension that before his knowledge, even though the pay passed and the original pension holder was not um, aware that his pension was going there. For months, Watson has been trying to get the issue resolved with the National Insurance Department. The only way that I think I can get an answer is if I do this to get my answer as to What's really going on at NAS? If the NAS did drop the ball and allow a third party to just walk in there, obtain my father's information, my father's right here standing. Up to this day, he will tell you that he never visited the institution with this lady, but yet still she was able to go up there and transfer his whole complete pension to her, to him, to her, sorry. And he was left out in the cold because none of the money that she was getting was coming to him to help him for food, utilities, nothing. He would live with. He would live and his friend would give him a little meal on a day-to-day -day basis. I wasn't aware of none of this. And when it was brought to me, I was mad. So he went to the NIS and me and them got in a little argument as to how them could allow a third party to just walk in. source at the NIS told Nation News the matter was being investigated. But cases like these were usually turned over to the police.